Uh, can you introduce yourself a little bit and uh, tell me what's the reason of uh, coming to this swim trial event? Mm, I wanted to, uh, I'm Bernard. Um, I'm, uh, I've done uh, level one, level two. And uh, uh, Coach Tang's uh, introduction, I, uh, uh, I, a, a suggestion, I decided to uh, jump the gun and uh, try the open water. And um, a, I've had a lot of uh, resistance because up to now, I haven't been able to swim comfortably more than 500 meters. If I push it, uh, maybe one kilometer, but uh, panting very badly. So, um, unfortunately or fortunately, um, when it's time for me to swim, it is with uh, um, two very fast swimmers. Uh, they were very gracious and encouraging. And uh, it was just swim a bit, uh, pause for a minute or two, and then swim a bit. And um, uh, I just wanted experience maybe a little bit only. But um, it was almost two kilometers. And uh, what changed was uh, I realized swimming in the water, if there's no strong current, uh, it's a lot more buoyant. It's, um, uh, yeah, it's a lot more buoyant. It can be easier. And also, uh, what the main change is um, um, the mindset that it may not be as difficult as I expected. Yeah, so I just wanted to experience the open water. Yeah. So where is this island, and uh, how is it different from swimming in Singapore? Uh, number one, you get a lot less bikes, almost no bikes, or uh, one or two only, uh, and the bikes are not as uh, painful. Uh, Singapore sometimes the bikes can be uh, very painful. Number two, you swim, you get to see the fish. Uh, you get to see the green in the water, the turquoise. Uh, this island is uh, Pulau Tinggi. Um, a swimming in open water that is much clearer, has a different feel. Um, and uh, my experience swimming in open water was on my own or in a short course uh, triathlon. Um, but in training, usually I train alone. And this time to actually train with full support, uh, with a um, someone behind you, uh, watching out for you, uh, a lot more comforting to want there to go further out. Yeah. So in the whole journey, uh, uh, you actually swim a few islands, right? Yes. Uh, so yes. what's the experience in swimming from island to island? Usually our experience is we do island hopping via boat. Now yes. you do island hopping via swimming. So how is it different from swimming loops? Uh, or from point to point? Uh, for, a, for a novice, um, um, I call this at my standard distance uh, open water swim. Uh, it was like, yay! <laughs> 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 um, uh, uh, yes, it was a nice experience uh, with um, uh, two experienced uh, swimmers, um, Coach Tang and Adrian, that gave me um, a lot of encouragement. You can say, ah, your strokes are all right. So I was very thankful for the lies. <laughs> no, just kidding. But um, uh, just very thankful for the encouragement. Uh, and, and that allowed me to have a breakthrough in mindset. Um, you know, I was planning to do my first um, 1.9 km swim in um, uh, 70.3 Ironman uh, 2021. But because of my experience having done uh, slightly more than 1.9, made close to 2, um, uh, albeit a short rest here and there, um, it allows me to start planning 70.3 uh, Ironman next year instead, you know. Ooh, so since good. since yesterday, I've been uh, going <laughs> online, checking with triathlon friends. Uh, oh, opens up a whole new avenue altogether. Yeah, so the mindset change is most precious. Yeah, mm. and then I think the good news is uh, you're reading cut off time even with the rest. Uh. Oh, the cut off time is one ten for uh, seventy point three swim. Oh, so one hour. With yes, all this yes. Rest, we are not pushing at all. We are not training. Mm. So there's a mm. lot of room for big improvements. Mm. And yeah, uh, how is your experience with the uh, water that's so shallow that you almost hit the the chorus. Mm, I actually did a bit. Um, uh, and what, what are the things that you need to be adjust 
you need to adjust in order to not to hit the chorus and what some advice for people who never swim that type of water before from deep to shallow shallow to the chorus so down just a bit more angle um and uh yeah and and it allowed me to um, practice the the uh, what i learned in level one level two um that i remember uh and put me into practice and i can feel a eh? this one seems to be more efficient eh the one seems more and then um on the spot coach tang uh told me that one of my strokes eh, eh, the right arm not not uh, going all the way back and i could correct immediately so that was a bonus yeah 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 very good experience very good experience um um you know, the transition from uh, after level one was already a huge improvement. Um, change of mindset of what uh, long distance swimming could be. Then level two, so I cannot wait for uh, uh, at, uh, attending some uh, swim club. Is it, is it called swim club? Yeah. And then swim try. And then um, uh, level three. I, and it's, I, I paid for level three for a long time and I'm not activated on it. But now I'm excited to want to... Um, uh, fine tune the skills to enhance my experience from yesterday. Mm. Good, thank mm. you. So I see you in the next swim tribe.